Hi, this is Dan Meal. When you're working in FreeCAD's assembly program called A2 Plus and you constrain parts to each other and then you modify one of the parts, the constraints often have trouble updating. I'm going to kind of look at that a little bit. The reasons why we have the problems with this assembly program and modifying parts is that the names of the edges and the faces are changed when you modify the part. So to demonstrate the names, I have this program that I'm using today and I can select the biggest radius or the biggest rectangle here and what I've done is I've added radiuses onto the corners of this. I haven't updated the assembly yet and I'm going to add the names here and you can see that there's face 1, face 2, 6, face and if we turn the transparency on you can see the back face is actually face 5 and there's 6 faces now one this is not a fancy program it's using it more for demo than anything else I'm now like I said these this has radiuses on it now so I come back here and I update the assembly and you can see all that here's the constraint problems and once again I click on this part I tell it to add the names and we now have uh, up to face 10 and the back face is now face 2 instead of face 5 the front is face 5 if you go back and compare the two pictures you'll see a lot of the faces have changed I don't have the radiuses on here, but you'll, or the edges, but you'll see that the edges change also. So now that we have looked at the naming and how the surface is named, we can verify all that stuff. This program also allows me to see the different constraints. If I come down this constraint name column and say I want to look at the constraints for this small piece being connected. I can see that there's this front of the two surfaces being connected together. And as I slide this over, here's the part one and part two. Those two parts make up the constraint. Here's where the faces go together. You can tell exactly which constraints are which. Uh, we can come back here to that uh, axis constraint. You can see the edge in the face, which is the outer face of the cylinder, it's constrained. So let's go back and update that part again. Do I want to? No, I want to update all of them. Let's go the constraint problems again. Let's look at that axis. You can see that or the cylinder, you can see that the axis has changed because the name of the edge has changed and the cylinder is still where it was and you can see that the bottom side of the cylinder is no longer constrained to the top surface. If we run those constraints, we'll run this axis constraint first and I click on the button. There's the, up, the constraint updated and there's the next constraint updated you can see that they fit nowhere as near what the original intent was for the next one you can see the act oh the, ah, the edge is way down here and the yeah okay so we can update that edge but you can see that the um, end of the cylinder is 90 degrees from the plane that it's supposed to be constrained to so as you run those back and forth, of course, you run into a conflict. Number seven has a plane trying to hook up with the radius there, which you cannot get a coincidence, even though it does do something here. And that, so you have another constraint problem there. So anyway, that's just to show visually how what problems you're having when you try to modify a part. This is Dan Meal. Have a good day. Bye.